Please take a second to wipe your feet, good people. Uh, hold on. Can you hear me, good people? Uh, give me a thumbs up in the chat if you can hear me. Give me a yes if you can hear me. Just give me some kind of sign if you can hear me. Okay. 
Okay, you can hear me good. Okay, give me a couple of seconds. Uh, just having a slight, slight wardrobe malfunction. Just slight, slight wardrobe malfunction. What is it, Wednesday night? Yeah. Yeah, y'all are going to have to pardon me. Ah. Ah, I just pardon me tonight. Pardon me. Give me about 10 more seconds and we'll get it rolling. Uh, okay, okay. Check. Make sure it sounds right. Let's make sure the image is right. Wow. Okay. Okay. Got to cover some slack tonight. Ooh. Okay. Add to the stage. Okay. Let me get the overlay out of here. Overlay goes down in three, two, one. Okay. We had to go casual. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another edition. Of Midnight with Marcus Maven. Mm. Mm. We're gonna have a we have a short High intensity session tonight. I ain't gonna keep y'all up all night. It's been a long day. It's been a very long day. It's been a long week, weekend. Mm. Why ain't none of y'all hit the like button on my drone flight today? I kind of feel like y'all was hating. Cash man in the building, what's good, Dwayne? What's going on? Court representing the Cardinal Burn. Reggie's in the building, what's good? Steve's in the house. Intriguing, intriguing. Ronnie Ron representing the Cardinal Burn. What's good? Ellie Jack in the house. The lovely lady Lauren keeping these YouTube streets safe. What's good? I bet no one. DJ in the building. Jocelyn in the building. Representing the Carter Bird all day, Team Nolan all day. Ah. Corey, Dwayne, what's good? David in the house. <laughs> Atlanta in the house, what's good? Walter, Nolan, good over here. Evander, what's good? Uh, let me make sure. Let me make sure. Uh. Let me see, let me see. Just doing a little housekeeping, housekeeping. Boom, 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 Hold on, hold on, DJ and hold on, hold on. Ah, who is switching? Cole in the building, what's good? I ain't got nothing to do with it. <laughs> That's between Nolan and KB. Next generation coming. Where's part two drop? You didn't see part one, Cole? DJ just giving the, the general shout outs. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I support Nolan 1,000%. It's Jocelyn. Hope Nolan stays. We don't know if they're supposed to be. We'll keep them. Uh, but I'm being positive with this process. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I feel like the game. Stop snitching. Stop lying. Ooh. I'll, I'll give you a breakdown. Uh, what's Michigan's path? We need Nolan. Baby it in the building. Spill it all. We got nothing but time and the job vacancy. Um, 500 in the building. Well, actually, 491. 491, hit the like button. Are we the new Georgetown DePaul? 
Zach, that's two. Where are you going with this? You're just trying to come off the top rope with 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 uh, divisive elbows. I've been mean, slurking, just not always texting, busy. Not fair enough. <laughs> new day, new snitching. Let's go. It's snitching right up my alley. <laughs> DePaul is beating Nova. I'd gladly beat DePaul right now. A little bit Twitter will be a different coach every day. I uh, might have to go on a Twitter break. I heard there's a lot of people going on Twitter breaks. Who's standing? Who's gone? Maybe Jameson been writing snitch memoirs on that clipboard the past two years. 0-2 versus DePaul in three seasons. To blab about everything? Is that, uh, let me see. Why do you think Smith announced his newsletter at the end of the season to blab about everything? We're going to we're gonna address it. Corey was, uh, no, that's my support since the beginning. Him and his family really care about the city. I back one of the best high school summer league uh, showcases in the city. Represents his dad. Sounds good. I'm on DJ said I'm on an X break. Yeah, that was you who said that earlier, DJ. Okay, okay, sounds good. Um, um, pull up shorty. I'm sorry, I missed your I didn't catch up to get your um your donation last night. Pull up shorty. I'll give it, I'll give you a heavy, a heavy, heavy, heavy. Nice little drink. Mm. That might have been too much. Oh, oh! You know, look. The faster, the faster I get to the uh, to the cocktail, the faster the snitching comes out. New phone. Who this? What's good, Jackson? Okay, we're gonna sound. I hear you, but I'm not. <laughs> oh. hold on, catch it up, catch it up. Marion in the building, what's good? Really kind of, uh, oh, you know, he's, uh, listen, Kenny the Cardinal, still Kenny the Cardinal. Oh, that's a, that's a good point. Wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> that's what you call it. Chess meat. Yeah, I had to put the chess meat away. Cat Williams tells us what happened to you. Oh, he'll, he'll, he'll snitch it out. And look, and, and he can sprint faster than anybody in there. Listen, listen. DePaul was giving some other people some problems too. Look at our record against DePaul longer than two years. DL Osborne, Mario says they did KB, uh, KB bad. I got my wrench. You got Nike gear on for Nolan. No, no, this is not Nike gear. DePaul isn't that bad. It's fine. Must bust was almost a dirty tart. Um, wait a minute. Oh, did Must Bust lose to Vandy? Is that what happened? Did Must Bust lose to Vandy? Pain relief today. Long day. Hit the like. Uh, let me catch up. Let me catch up. Desmond, shout out, shout out. Desmond want to speed up the snitching, don't you? Here we go, Desmond. Sorry about that, man. I appreciate you supporting the channel, Desmond. I really do appreciate that. Um... Gosh darn it, man. Sorry about that. Sorry about last night. Golly. Slow down. <laughs> I'm just one man having an evening nightcap. And y'all just, y'all just, just, just bombarding me with love and support. It's almost like you want me to keep doing the, the night show. It's almost like y'all, y'all don't want me to retire. It's almost like you like the night family content. Cheers again. Slow down.
Snitch cam. You might not even need to snitch. Whoa! Whoa! Salute, salute, salute. Derek A. Stewart in the building. Salute. You hear this man's name constantly. He is a day one. Follow him on social media. If you don't believe me, look at the work he puts in. If you have any questions, anything about your buying, and selling realtor needs. Contact this man. He knows every program. He knows the, the landscape from edge to edge, the city, the county, everything you need to know, even if you want to just pick his brain. He's been doing it forever, forever. Derek A. Stewart. Mobs Kelly in the building. What's good, Mobs Kelly? Dwayne. Okay, I'm catching up. I hit the like button on replay. Didn't catch it live. Blame it on Tammy Red. Are you? You wait. You you talking about the drone footage? I should go get the drone right now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The night. The night show is always wild. Darvin Ham, the new coach. Miss Durham. What's good? Oh, true fact, Scott Clark has 88 turnovers since being at Louisville. I got to say this. If you want to talk basketball, I got to say this. We don't run motion offenses. We don't run regular motion offenses where everybody has rules. Coach Payne doesn't like motion offenses because he feels like the defense can take you out of your motion offenses. Um, but, but if you have any player on the court that's not fundamentally sound, uh, a set plays are hard to run through the whole game. Set plays are hard to run the whole game. You needed more motion so I know what everybody else is doing. I need to have an option A, B, and C on every play. We had too many plays where there was one option. And if that one option gets taken away, they force it. That is where our turnovers came from. Or a, a huge portion of our turnovers come from plays that only have one option. If you're running all these plays, to get the ball to Brandon and then Brandon and I'm just using listen I'm not I'm not going hard on Brandon tonight because Brandon I'm I'm gonna give him an end of the season pass I'm gonna give him an end of the season better grade all that good stuff but I'll use Brandon as an example you run all these motions and all this play just to get the ball to Brandon and then Brandon is covered up at the end of the play what are you supposed to do you either take a bad shot you try to go to the basket or you try to force it to Brandon because this play is to get the ball to Brandon on the block. You know how many turnovers we had trying to get the ball to Brandon or, 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 or whoever we're supposed to get the ball to or Trey? Sorry. I just... Sorry. The cocktail. I'm pissed and excited. Gravy train, that that's that's a that's a range of emotions. I feel you. Well, y'all should feel bad about calling that car as fan of UK fan. Right, right. Listen, uh, James. Yep, yep. James. Listen, he was pissy. What? He? <laughs> Listen, James is ready to fight over being called a UK fan. James was willing to, to risk it all over being called a UK fan. But at the same time, I'm like, all right, James, like, you've been a little nasty too. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it's like, dude, I don't know you. I don't know what you've been through. So 
if you talking greasy and you're just like a if you're a if you're a harsh talking Louisville fan, I usually block him. Not him in particular. I usually block. Okay, put it this way. I don't, if you can say you're a Louisville fan, but I don't need constant negativity about Louisville. So if you bring Louisville, too much Louisville negativity, I block you. And it, it's like, it's not that I don't like you as a person. It's just like, I don't think in negative spaces and I got to protect my positive Louisville energy. So if anybody in here has been blocked by me on Twitter or Facebook, you can send me Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, whatever. You can send me a message from another account and tell me, you know, the 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 name you want me to blog. Maybe there's a misunderstanding. I don't mind going back on the block, but you got to understand, I to make to make the content that I make to be myself. I can't get overwhelmed by negative comments because I don't want my content to change. I mean, y'all know how it is. Like, it's hard. It's hard not to be overwhelmed by message board and Twitter. Message, like, people don't realize. They say, like, social media bullying is a thing. Guess who, guess who gets bullied the most? A radio host. Can you imagine how much social, uh, how much media bullying that I get? I get bullied by people that don't like Kitty Payne. I get bullied by people that don't like Rick Patino. I get bullied by people that didn't want Bobby 2.0. I get bullied by people that didn't like Chris Mack. I get bullied by people that didn't like Tom Jurich. I get bullied by people that don't like Josh Hurd. I get bullied by people who just don't like me. <laughs> but because you have a radio show, they think like that, that bullying is okay. But then they call me a bully when I block somebody. So you can get on social media, you can attack my coaches, you can you can bully and bully Nolan Smith and bully his family and bully Kenny Payne and bully everybody over at the university on social media, sorry about that. But if I block, he call me a bully. I'm well into my right to block. You don't get the bully and then not, and then and then be a victim. Hold on, hold on. I don't like any of the choices. The next, oh man, none of the choices. Did I never rock anything worth worth discussing? I, yeah, we, we got snitches in the house. We got to talk about that. Josh had his best pressure today. I got to go back and listen to it. Oh, Peggy says, grown man, snitches. Is this what you, you ready for the smoke, Peggy? <laughs> I can tell you ready for the smoke. Um... Um, well, when, when WHAS came in there to do interviews around the building, I thought it was kind of consistency. I thought it's an opportunity. It's an opportunity to repair. Will we take advantage of the opportunity? Everybody in the fan base is going to have to at some point check their own egos a little bit for this to be a repairing thing. Sorry, I'm catching up. <laughs> I just figured out. Thank you for time. Okay, okay. Ooh. Ooh. The Tyler situation don't feel great, but I'm going to leave that in the hands of the new hire. I'm going to do anything I can to help out the new hire with the current players. It just gets it. I'm gonna listen. I'm going to explain the snitching situation. Just let me catch up. I mean, it depends on how fast I get to the bottom of this glass on how much, how many details I give.
Man, just listen. I think I gave you a, a cheers for yesterday. I might have gave you a cheers for today, but that's I guess that's the consequences for not paying attention. Pull up, Shorty. Thank you for supporting the channel. <laughs> I'm sorry if that's too loud for everybody. Unless they get a Hall of Fame coach, I ain't hearing it. Man better win 25 games every year. I'm calling for his hand. Listen, that's what Lawrence said today. David Groggins, to get the team back on track. Listen, uh, Groggins. Is it Goggins or Groggins? Isn't it Goggins? Listen, I believe he can do it. I believe he can do it. We'll get to that. Wait, wait, what? On the side note, Blackberry and wait, Blackberry Crown and lemon juice? Sheesh. We live in here tonight. Man, we are 810. Y'all better be hitting the like button. Facebook is better be hitting the like button. Um, actually, you know what? You know what? Tonight is family talk. Because we're going to go behind the scenes. I don't like to give away my sources. I do not like giving away my sources. Tonight, if I'm going to go behind the scenes and talk about what goes on behind the scenes, this is for the YouTube family. If you're watching on Facebook, you need to go to YouTube and type in Made for the Bill. It's all letters. Just write it out. Made for the Bill. And come to the YouTube channel. Red State, if you in here, help me out. Twitch, made for the bill. Twitter, made for the bill. M-A-D-E-F-O-R-T-H-E-D-I-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Made for the bill. That's the YouTube channel. Everybody knows how to get to YouTube.com. And everybody knows this is a midnight family conversation. So if y'all want some behind the scenes content, come to the YouTube channel, come to Made for the Bill, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button more importantly, and hit the notification button because I'm about to outwork everybody. I'm going to start giving you videos of the offenses that the coaches are running. I'm gonna give you videos of the coaches behind the scenes. I'm going to explain to you why I got the, the number one content going. But go to the YouTube channel and type in Made for the Bill. Come join us. But Facebook, I'm sorry, you got to come over here to the YouTube channel. But Facebook, I got to shut you down in three, two, one, bang. Twitch, I got to shut you down in three, two, one thing. Twitter, come over to the YouTube channel. It's not that hard and it's free. Come over to the YouTube channel. We got 842 in the building now. Three, two, one, bang. Come on over here. 230 in the building. YouTube only, 2.30 on YouTube. Hit that uh, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. And subscribe, number one, important. The notification button, number two, important. And the like button is coming in at a tight number three. A J right open uh, KP is gone. But the receipts from Louisville Media uh, will never be the same. Elaborate on that. Cat, Cat Williams is snitching on Kenny. I don't know. I don't know. Cat Williams might, might back up Kenny and expose some other stuff. Hmm. Hmm. Or maybe I am the Cat Williams of Louisville. Maybe Marcus Maben is the Cat Williams of Louisville. I can tell you about the media. I can tell you about the, the, the university. What's going on behind the scenes? 
I can tell you a lot. No way. Not unless you want me locked up. You get locked up. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Evander, y'all going to get, don't get snitching. I don't want to get canceled tonight. It would be a shame to get canceled on a night like this. Gosh darn it, Evander. Desmond, you did it again? Oh, gosh darn it. Y'all gonna send me back to the kitchen. Y'all gonna get me snitching. Then I'm gonna get canceled. That's the capacity. That's pretty funny. Oh, gosh darn it. This is gonna be a rough night. Hey, y'all. Y'all gonna have to call Steve and message Steve and tell him if he doesn't come into the show tonight, I'm not working tomorrow you can do it all by yourself mr rummage thanks to the midnight family y'all gonna cancel the show tomorrow for me gosh damn it damn it jared I'm about two sips away from telling everything, telling everything I know. And you just, you just put me one sip away. Oh, God. oh my God. Why would y'all do this to me? I can't listen. I might not be able to do the deep voice. I may be able to do the black and white screen. I may be able to do a little snitch cam. But Desmond and Alicia, I have to do this. I have to combine your cheers because I don't have two sips. I got to go to the kitchen. But when I go to the kitchen, boy, y'all know how it is. When I come out the bullpen, Y'all remember how John Rocker used to come out the bullpen? When y'all send me back to the kitchen, if y'all want to know who's snitching or y'all want to know what's the problem with the snitching situation, stay right here and I'm going to bring it to you. But stop, 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 stop it. <laughs> stop it, Justin, Desmond, Alicia. Because when I get to the next lap, like, what y'all going to do? Like, y'all going to have me passed out live on YouTube. You're going to take away all my credibility. I'm going to be on the news again. Y'all really trying to put me down. Y'all are trying to put me down or expose me. Uh-oh. Okay, y'all. So, listen to the music. I can't get the drone. But don't hate on my drone footage. I sent my dad my drone footage. My dad is getting ready to drive up from Atlanta just to get me to teach him how to work the drone. My dad was a military pilot for 20 years. He want me to teach him how to use my drone. And I'm like, dad, you remember all them books you had me read? All those books you had me reading, dad, about gravity and inertia and all that good stuff. I ain't teaching you a damn thing. I encourage everybody to go back to earlier videos at, in, in the evening and look at my drone footage. If y'all want more drone footage, let me know. The drone is fun. Listen, get yourself a drone 
to get through the Kenny Payne content. <laughs> okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, I should have at least 180 likes. All y'all up in the building tonight? 180 likes, easy. Sorry, I, I gotta catch up, y'all. Kevin, what's good? One ring, 30 years. Is that one ring, 30 years? You need to home one ring, 30 years. Oh, wait, no. Baby train, that's not right. I know Bayham got a couple rings, right? What's good, midnight? CJ3K in the building representing the car number. Oh, 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 man. I still got the overlay going. I'm sorry, y'all. I still had the overlay going. Sorry about that. Let's catch up real quick. Red State says cheers. Big tips. <laughs> Big tips, loose and lips, pause. Ready 1322 represent the Carter Bird. I appreciate the support. Red State of Force represent the Carter Bird. Alicia represent the Carter Bird. Everybody did. And listen, go back and listen to the national media. They all thought, listen, there were more people that hated the KP hire locally than in the national media. Repeat, there were more people who hated the KP hire locally than the national media. I don't even get into the details of how the local media treated the KP hire, but I do know the national media thought it was the perfect hire and the national media did their best to support the Louisville rebuilding process. The national media supported the rebuild more than the local media. Justin Rankin in the building was good. Where you been at? Man, but you on Facebook, you gotta come to YouTube. Okay, let's get to the nitty gritty. We are. Wait a minute. And it's hung up on James? What? What? Oh, Derek A. Stewart. The lovely lady Lauren Kaufman is looking for 22 acres. Wow. Wow. Pastor Kabasi, we get to our knowledge. Uh, oh, no, I'm catching up, y'all. I'm catching up. I'm catching up. I'm trying. See? Marion, it's not about winning percentages for me. It's about, because here's the thing. I've been on teams with good talent, great talent, great coaching, but no chemistry. And those turn out to be bad teams. I watched Kentucky with two lottery picks win nine games. You got to have the good, you got to have a good chemistry. Catching up on that. Get the drone. Get the, you didn't wait, Cashman. I, I, I think I saw you in the, in the building with the, with the drone. Oh, if I get the drone, I got to I have to back up. Nobody wins. Listen, no, finish that quote, Marion. Finish that quote. Nobody wins. When the family feuds, except the coroner. And the Louisville media is the coroner. Nobody wins when family feuds, except the coroner. And Louisville media, I'm sorry, can be the coroner. Again, this is not new Louisville media. This is old Louisville media that love watching Tom get marched out, love watching Rick get marched out, love watching Bobby Petrino 2.0 get marched out, love when Charlie Strong left for because it makes for easy content. They love the Dino Gaudio Chris Mack drama. They love. 
fucking telling you about the death penalty that Louisville was going to get with Chris Mack and Dino Gaudio. They loved it. Y'all were here. Y'all were here. The same people, the same people that were talking death penalty with Chris Mack are the same people telling you, oh, I, I care about the good of the program. No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, uh, I just, Kenny Payne should be gone for the good of the program. I uh, Listen, Kenny Payne fucked up. Bad. He had a terrible philosophy for coaching college basketball. I think Kenny Payne's probably in the NBA screwed up his philosophy for coaching college basketball. That's okay. And it's okay to get fired. It's okay because it didn't work. But we're going to have to talk about the next part of it. But the family feud argument is a different story. But we win again, it's the fact. What a day indeed. If that, hold on, hold on, hold on. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. There has to be punishment for the turnovers. That's like, that's another philosophy. Kenny Payne wanted confidence in the players, so he didn't want to snatch players from mistakes. Is anybody supporting 12 wins in two years? Ooh, that's a that's a conversation people are not ready for. We'll get there. Yeah, definitely better uh, late than never. Where you at, James? <laughs> James get, he did give a shout out to the Midnight Family, didn't he? Yeah. Why did he hang up? Wait a minute. Right there. Why did he hang up on James? I need to know the backstory. Oh, that's funny. Last uh or the half empty types. Ooh, I don't think he, I don't think he really do that. But yeah, like we got to factor a lot of emotions in. Okay, I got I got I got to catch up y'all. Mmm. Mmm. James almost reminds me of Poison Tree Bama fan. His fandom is borderline too deep, but it's real passion. Y'all can look up that, that Auburn fan. <laughs> if, if the Auburn Alabama tree fan. Didn't he poison the Auburn tree? Kendra, did you tell James you didn't want to smoke because you had a flip flop? We give it. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I totally said that. Listen, because here's the thing: if you if you hang up on somebody and you call them a Kentucky fan and they show up at the studio, and normally, listen, I believe in my right. Let's leave it at that. My father was in the military. I believe in my right to conceal and carry. Right now, put it this way. Right now, 
I'm protected by at least 30 people. <laughs> Point being, I believe in my rights and all that good stuff. And so I'm, I always want to know how serious somebody is about causing a problem. And if you really want to cause a problem, you don't show up in flip-flops. <laughs> and that's just something I noticed right away. Listen, but you don't know. You never know. So you got you to gotta be careful about, you know, who you antagonize and all this stuff. And me, it's different. Because here's the problem. I played here. And look, I sound like an old person. Back in my day, when I lost, people would come up and give me a piece of their mind in public. Mall, shopping, you know, gas station. You know, like I, I've had to wear my face in public. I'm not from the Twitter hide behind profile, nickname, a, 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 a false name, like radio personality nickname. I'm not from that era. Fucking little punks. <laughs> I'm from an era where somebody might get mad and punch you in the face if they don't like you. Right, bullying was different. All you can do sometimes. And and listen, and you block somebody for talking shit. And they look like the victim. You call them out for talking shit about you and they act like you were wrong. We'll get to it. I'm almost caught up, y'all. That is what Paul being Cardi says. Oh, then there's that. We'll get to that. I like Samson style play. Gosh darn it, I'm trying, I'm catching up. Listen, don't comment. The only thing, the only thing I'm gonna read at this point. Oh, well, I'm not going to read it out loud. The only thing I can read at this point is donations and drinks until I get caught up. Correct way. Listen, Josh did the correct thing at the correct time in the correct way, in my opinion. I, I agree 100%. Okay. That's a, that, listen, that cannot be ignored. But you're going to say, oh, well, if Drew won eight games and Kenny won four, that's the difference where you draw the line. Well, Scott Drew won eight, and that's Baylor. And Kenny Payne won four, and it's Louisville. So it, 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 that's an endless dog chasing his tail. Follow this man. This is a name you need to know. Terry M. F. and Boykin. This is a name you should know. This is a this is a this is a great human being. This is a great teacher about you can learn stuff just by following him. If you want to learn about basketball. He's like, he's a version of me who loves to teach intricacies of basketball. Follow Terry Boykin. He's the only person to fake me out of my shoes. Do you know what it's like to remember the, the worst time you got crossed over or hezzy? If somebody asked me a question, what was the worst time that you got worked on a basketball court? It was Terry Boykin's hesitation in the red barn. I can't explain to you people what it's like to think you're good. And a guy 
hits you with a move and you're on the way up in the air looking down and he's going around you. That's never happened to me before. And I don't think it ever happened again. This man did it and he can teach your kids everything they know. If you got a kid that plays basketball, follow this person or you're an idiot. Shout out to Terry Boykin. <laughs> okay, God, okay. Damn, I'm so mad at Trey. I hated the W. Okay, well, helicopter shot, getting in the car on the tarmac. And this, it was over. And listen, they got a, they spent a lot of money for that, didn't they? Black Bear Crown slapped Val in the building. Where you been at, girl? Where you been at? We need Huggins. I like Huggins. Like, listen. Uh, I'm not judgmental on baggage. Hmm. Go back and listen. I always said I was harsh on pageant at the end. But if you go back and listen to me, I listen, I supported the pageant situation all the way till about the last four games. I was mad at him for not playing Jordan Warren and Dwayne Sutton. Turns out, I think I was kind of right. I was harsh on David Padgett at the end of the year, but this is coming fresh off Rick Pitino and all that good stuff. And like, maybe I was biased. David Padgett's younger than me. So maybe it was a little hard for me to think that he could, he could coach him. But, but if you listen to the majority of the year, I was all about David Patrick the entire time. Okay, I'm catching up. I'm sorry. Okay, gosh, I'm so behind. No, I'm catching up right now. Boom, boom. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, James, appreciate that. I'm catching up. I'm catching up. Okay. Valen came over to the YouTube channel. I'm so behind. Just got here with some five. Hold on, we almost caught up. Okay, I'm catching up. Thank you, Val. Girl. Gotta go to bed, Jason. Okay, well, this is all you want. That way we've changed the game. It's a fact. I'm waiting for Kenny Payne to appear on. Club Chaser. Oh, Kevin, he come here first. If y'all want me to reach out to Kenny Payne, I will. There's that. Possible. Club May May. That sounds kind of. That sounds kind of. Ooh. How about we leave it at Club May May? <laughs> I don't know, Val. Today might be the day. I think you'd be holding out on us. Well, let's see. Let's see. Uh, I might need a backup channel. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Anthony, what's good? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm catching up. How much to get you to open one of the brown bottles? Ooh. How much to get me to open one of the brown bottles? Ooh. I don't know, man. I'll probably auction off one and drink one the same night. Tell the media three candidates they'll be digging all week. Fair enough. Water boy I mean, oh, okay, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Gosh darn it, James. Snitch drone. 
Throne is funny. Hold on, I'm catching up. I'm almost here. I'm almost here. Hold on. I, listen, you 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 got to deal with three or four good crashes in the drone in the drone thing. In the in the drone scene, listen. I bought two drones exactly alike just because I knew I was going to tear up the first one. But that's the first one y'all stopped flying. That's the first drone y'all stopped flying. It's still fine. Yeah, that part. Okay, hold on, coming, coming. Okay, if y'all been here this long. Yep. Yep. That, listen, Kenny Payne, I said today on the show, Kenny Payne had 10,000 different thoughts going on in his head. He knew this was going to be his last press conference uh, uh, after the game. David Vasquez, what's good? What's good? Shout out to Clarksville. That's my people. <laughs> Woo. Lauren, 22 acres. That's a lot. Ooh. Not if you're trying to get off the grid. <laughs> 22 acres is about right to get off the grid. I'm going to have to ask my son how many acres he got. Yeah, the national coverage wants Louisville to be good no matter what. The national coverage wants Louisville to be good more than the local coverage. Hit that like button. Hold on, hold on, catching up. Shout out the Vikings, Northwest Vikings, to the green and the gold. We pledge our loyalty. We join together in our song. To praise and honor thee, all hell to thee, all hell to thee. We gladly raise our voices, all hell to thee, Northwest High. See, y'all don't even know y'all school song. Y'all don't even know y'all school anthem. Fair East Side High. Fair East Side. Is it true? leaked a story about Kenny being fired, or did I hear that wrong? Okay, as soon as I catch up, I'm gonna address that. So, no more comments. Oh man, damn it. Billy McNichols in the building. I'm getting there, I'm getting to the snitching part, but Billy McNichols in the building, that's royalty, y'all. James called right when he said, oh, hold on. That's pretty funny. Yeah, Steve, listen, Steve and James had a, a body exchange, but Steve, Steve wants to make sure the, the Louisville fans like that at the end of the day, we still all want the same thing. Open and care. Yeah, look, open care, period. I'll never leave Kentucky unless. Unless the NFL fans try to get me or something. Listen, when your son is, listen, when your son is the president of the NFLPA, you have to be prepared for anything. Again, I can't hide behind fake accounts. I can't hide. My son is the president of the NFL Players Association. They coming for me. Y'all do realize that, right? So anytime y'all see people taking digs and me taking shots at me, they 
They all come up to me. We on the clock, y'all. The midnight, listen. I give everybody in here my blessing to pick up the baton and run when I get canceled. Because I'm going to get canceled. I don't know how they're going to, I don't know what they're going to do to cancel me. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to get canceled. Too many people, they they want the 10 o'clock, the 10 at night, midnight family limelight. Y'all notice how everybody is like, listen, shout out to the people who are just trying to grow channels. Fine. But there's some people that are coming directly at me. And y'all see it. Y'all see it. But enjoy it. I don't mind good content. But I'm getting canceled. I, it's just too much energy from the Midnight Families and I get canceled. Oh, sorry, sorry, I'm catching up. Since, okay, okay, I'm catching up, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. God, I love Look up the UConn coaches first. See, nobody wants to hear rational stuff. That's not rational. No, that is rational, but nobody wants to hear rational. Baylor's coach in his first couple years. UConn coach in his first couple years. Yet yeah, no coach should be that bad in their first two years is, is the mentality that Louisville has. No coach is perfect. I, listen, I don't want to start attacking coaches before they even get here. Hold on, I'm catching up, y'all. I, I, I want to do the, the Abdul Rahim. I'm not a big on Indiana State coach. Lloyd Gardner says something. I think uh, it's key 25 wins, and that's the same as 25 wins in top five. Um... It went off the rails with with coaches' philosophy. And he stuck to the philosophy. I think it went off the rails when he said four years, three or four years to turn it around instead of having an attitude that he needs to turn around in one or two. But you're dusty. Drone armor, that's pretty funny. No, listen. There was a groundswell of people who thought Kenny Payne deserved the opportunity. He wasn't the only uh he wasn't the only candidate. But there was extreme support for Kenny Payne. And then when Josh heard heard the national people saying if Louisville's able to get Kenny Payne, it will be a slam dunk hire. So it's not pressure. Josh Hurst, the AD, if he got a guy on deck, who was on deck? Josh Hurst was a new AD. Could he have gotten Jay Wright? No. He had to deal with an extortion case. Kenny Payne was the number one guy with a resume that said it's a gamble. Kenny Payne was a risk, a gamble, but if you were going to gamble, you gamble on somebody who's been the number one paid assistant, the number one assistant for fucking eight, seven, eight years in college and been the, num the number one highest paid assistant in the NBA for two years. You don't think that's worth The Knicks were trash for 15 years. They bring Kenny Payne in, they, they make the playoffs. Listen, 
Am I happy with what Kenny Payne decided to do when he got here? Absolutely not. But is he was he worth the risk? Absolutely. And it wasn't a okay, just because minorities made it about a minority higher doesn't mean Josh Hurd was pressured into a minority hire. Minority said it's great that there's a minority hire, but you realize that I didn't mention, think about this, I didn't mention minority hire one time. Out of all the Kenny Payne hire, I didn't mention it. And if I did mention minority hire, it was me responding to somebody else. I didn't even want minority hire to be included in the key thing conversation. It, there was nothing about me that thought minority hire. There was nothing about my support that said minority hire. I supported Scott uh, David Paget out of player. You must know you like you got to know what you're talking about. Well coached. High IQ, you know what you're talking about. Kenny Payne, number one assistant, eight years in college, number one assistant, two years in the pros, you'd be an excellent hire. Never, ever, ever said Louisville needs a minority candidate. Never. Supported, supported six white coaches when they were in their ass kicked. Supported six white coaches, ass kicked by scandal, ass kicked by on the floor, ass kicked the recruit. I supported six white coaches. Did I look did I lose my credibility? Because I supported a minority head coach. That's what cancel culture looks like, y'all. Sorry. That's what divisiveness looks like. Marcus, you just supporting Kenny Payne because he's a minority. Uh, yeah, that, that. So when I do get fully canceled, these these are weak people that's trying to cancel me now, though. Y'all get the point. Oh, Tennessee is open carry. Hold on. Bearcats by 20. And they be taking the midnight content. <laughs> and people take the midnight content trying to like, trying to rally some silly shit. The coworkers don't read the jumps, <laughs> but I warn them. I mean, yeah, like, it, it, it's no good to start making comparisons. But I feel you. There's a lot of great coaches that had shitty two or three seasons. Charles, I feel you. Okay, sorry, sorry. I, I, I can't, I can't. I can't, I can't. No, he was prepared for it. He just had a different philosophy on how it should go. Okay, but here's the thing. Everybody stayed in here for this. The story about Nolan Smith is 100 percent false the story about nolan smith is false because i could have broke the story before i could have broken this story in december who was who was trying to get kenny penny fired i knew who was trying to get Kenny Payne fired I knew who was reaching out to Nolan Smith to try to find out what was going on behind the scenes. I know it. I saw it with my own two eyes. 
I knew Nolan Smith's name was getting drugged into something that was above Nolan Smith. Not above Nolan Smith pay grade, but Nolan Smith, okay, if Nolan Smith is a recruiter and he gets dragged into a recruiting situation with somebody who has no intention of going to Louisville, Nolan doesn't know that, but he got to take, he, he has to take that recruiting visit. Okay, prime example. There's a kid who has no intentions of going to Louisville. He wants to go to Kentucky. I realize I've been doing this for a long time. There is a kid who has no intention of going to Louisville. He's going to go to Kentucky. You know what they tell him to do? Take a visit to Louisville. Okay. And this is all hypothetical. What if you're Nolan Smith and somebody says, Hey, Nolan, I, I, I'm curious about coming to Louisville. If, Louis, if, if Nolan Smith said, no, we don't want to talk to you. And the word gets out that Nolan Smith didn't want to talk to DJ Wagner. What would y'all do? What would y'all say? Y'all would say Nolan Smith got to go. If he didn't take a, 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 a conference call or whatever with DJ Wagner. Right? Now, same thing happens with a G League team. What if a G League team was told to try to hire Nolan Smith? Hypothetically, what if a G League team was told to go after Nolan Smith? NBA, G League, we know they work together. And you know the G League would sacrifice anything to do what the master NBA team says. Nolan's first year, and he gets a call. They haven't even really seen him coach at all. And Nolan gets a G League call, and it gets leaked out. Nobody, I, who leaks that out? You think, you think somebody wants to leak out? No one would want to leak out. The G League team wouldn't want to leak out. So the only reason y'all would know he had an interview is if it was set up for a leak. Period. When when Kent, when when the word got out that Coach Payne might be let go in the middle of the season, I knew where it was coming from. I saw it with my own two eyes. Nolan is a patsy right now. Nolan is a bat. Listen, I've talked to Nolan three times in my life. So it's not like Nolan's my, you know, my my inside guy. I've talked to him probably two times in my life. Once on the phone and once when he was on the show. I'm telling you, I knew back then the rumor that Kenny Payne was getting fired and who was going to get hired. I knew where it was coming from and it wasn't coming from nowhere. Man. I knew that. But listen, it's not my job. Midnight Family People, I think you do right. I see from my own eyes. I knew where it was coming from. I knew where the Nolan Smith taking over rumor was coming from. And, and it was listen, Nolan's biggest problem is he didn't challenge Kenny Payne enough. He didn't challenge Kenny Payne because he has so much respect for Kenny Payne that he won't say, hey, coach, we fucking up. Y'all remember the story about Richard Patino? Telling Rick Pitino, hey, dad, we gonna lose. It was against Bradley Bill and Florida. Richard Pitino said, hey, dad, we're gonna fucking lose this game if you stay in this zone shit. Right? 
But a son can can say that to his dad. Norma Smith got too much respect for Keith Payne and Danny Manning to go out there and be like, hey, we're gonna lose this shit. If we keep playing this zone or we keep doing this or we keep leaving that guy out there. But if you watch up close, the Nolan Smith coaching, you can see that. The dude trying to take the job, the dude trying to do his job. And what y'all are hearing on the internet, what y'all are hearing in media, that's a that's an agenda. That's a play. And that's a play. That's a play. That's that's misdirection. It is not undercutting anything. Good job. Are you stupid? Nolan Smith was sitting in the second seat at Duke. You think he came to Louisville to undercut any pain for the head coaching job? That's silly. And again, I'm listening. Again, I don't want the night show to get clipped up and maybe things different so somebody can grow their channel on trying to take my content and turn it into whatever. Uh, Marcus Maven is telling Midnight Family that I'm behind the scenes and I'm in front of the scenes. And Nolan Smith, it was not angling Payne's job in the middle of the season. I know that for a fact. I know that from behind the scenes. But I don't even want you to trust me. I want you to realize how much sense that doesn't make. It doesn't make sense. No, if no one took over the Louisville job, he would be labeled as an undercutting snitch. For history. It's not true. Like I said, this is not me going to any media, anybody else. I listen, everybody reports who says it, they believe what they've been told. It's all good. I'm telling you, I don't report. I'm not a reporter. I, I don't I don't want to vet sources, but this is just me to the midnight family. I don't need sources that reports. I was there. I knew where it was coming from. I don't listen. I don't get into business that's not my own. But sometimes with the Midnight Family, I got to tell y'all what's going on. Nolan Smith was not leaking rumors to get the head coaching job at Louisville. It's it's, it's disgusting to see what's going on behind the scenes to, to run us. Everybody's like doing a smear campaign to get in the clear. And Nolan, good human being, he's on the receiving end. So I wouldn't even expect Nolan to respond to it because he's not like that guy. He's not the guy to start beef. He's not the guy to burn bridges. He's not the guy to like get into a you know, a back and forth with real basketball. Like, social media is different. And to say that Nolan Smith is getting into spats, he got to a spat over going back and forth with his wife. Is, if you're guilty of getting involved with Twitter fights with fans over your wife, when did we stop liking that guy? When did America stop liking if your wife bites at a guy who's who's trying to just you know kill you know kill your your husband? A wife watched her husband get dragged over the coals and she mouths off back. And listen, I don't agree with his wife getting on Twitter mouthing off. And I don't agree with him mouthing off in, in defense of his wife. If I'm an advisor, but at the same time, I don't, I'm not gonna crush him for doing it. 
a, 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 a woman who gets on Twitter and, and defends her husband, I would say, don't do that, girl. Don't do that. He's fine. He's a grown man. You know, so don't get on Twitter doing that. But I'm not going to, like, condemn her for doing it. That, that's an emotional woman protecting her husband. And if he gets dragged into it or he jumps in it because that's his wife, I would say, Nolan, don't do that. But I'm not going to condemn him if he says, baby, they just going at my wife. I had to jump in. Don't do it, Nolan, but I feel you. I feel you. That's nuance. That's what nuance looks like. But if you got an agenda, oh, he, he, he got into it with the fan base. He got into it. it, it it's just an agenda. Right now, the agenda is to make the, the Louisville basketball team look as dysfunctional as he can. That's the agenda. That's the story. Nolan Smith was not undercutting Kenny Payne to try to get the job. I know where the rumors came from. I know what it was like. And I'm not like super snitch cam, but that's a that's an agenda story. That's not a real story. Uh, again, I'm not going to Crawford or anybody else who reported this story. Because if they were told something, they believe their sources. But I'm telling you, Whatever I am behind the scenes, wherever I am, former athlete, whatever I qualify myself as, again, you can trust the sources. I'm not a source. I'm just telling you. Nolan Smith was not undercutting anything to take the head coaching job. That's what I know. For me, to believe, listen, if somebody else can believe their story to be 100% fact. So can I. And that's what it is. That's what the story is. That's what the, the truth is. Coming from me to you.